ASMR channel, your one-stop shop for everything gaming and ASMR related. My name is Mike. I am going to be with you today for this little mini-series. Um, this mini-series is called Going for the Gold Chocobo, and if you haven't gathered, um, it's for Final Fantasy VII on PS4. And basically what I'm going to be doing with this mini-series is trying to get a gold chocobo the legitimate way. So. I know there is a way that you can get it within a couple of hours using RNG. Um, that is not my preferred method. I have gotten a gold chocobo twice now. Um, once for PC way back in the day when the game first came out. And then for PlayStation after probably a good eight years after that when I got my PlayStation um, just for shits and giggles. Um, I was able to get a gold chocobo then as well. Um, so I've done it twice before. Um, so this will be my third time, so I'm pretty excited. Um, there's a lot of things that I did not remember about this game, so it was nice to go back on the PlayStation 4 and discover those things again. Um, this is going to be one of them. I'm planning on doing this and tackling Emerald and Ruby Weapon sometime down the road. I will obviously do a Let's Play for that too, a little brief walkthrough, just, to, uh, just so you guys can see it, see how it's done the legitimate way. and. Uh, and we'll see how it goes from there. But anyway, so today, um, if you're not aware, you need a good amount of money to start your gold chocobo search. You will need, eh, they suggest on the guides that I've seen online, at least 300,000 gil. There's a way that you can get a lot more money than that. You will need eventually 99,999,999 gold to get one of the trophies on this game for the PS4. I believe it's the same trophy for the PC too. So you will need a lot of money at some point. The way that I've got, gathered my money and one of the ways that they suggest online is to go to the forest outside Medeal, equip yourself with all your all materia, in, a weapon, in the weapon slots of a weapon that does double AP gain. And what you do is you battle the creatures outside Medeal, you gain a lot of AP times two, and eventually you'll be able to master your all materias. And each one of those all materias sells for $1.4 million. So as you can see here, I spent maybe an hour, about, may, yeah, maybe an hour, hour and a half, mastering my all materia. And you can see I've got 5.5 million gil. That's a lot. And I do apologize if I call it gold in this guide. That's just the rpg -er inside of me. Uh, it, it's, it's nothing that I'm doing on purpose to annoy you. So if that bugs you, I apologize. I will try to call it gil wherever I can. Anyway, so the way that you can do this is you literally just equip these guys with a weapon that does double AP gain. As you can see here, I've got the Force Stealer, um, Rune Blade. So there are a few weapons in the game that will allow you to do that double gain. And basically what you do is you just fill every slot with all materia, master it, and once you've mastered it, not only can you sell it for 1.4 million gil, you also get another all materia. So it basically gives birth to another all materia. So you can continue to do this multiple times each time putting more all materia in your slots and eventually you'll hit that 99 million mark it may take you a few hours you know but in an rpg this big that's something you're gonna you assume that you're gonna do in hours doing stuff so anyway let's go ahead and get started with the guide so that just explains where i got my gill from if you're wondering why i have that much and the first thing you want to do is you're at the chocobo farm you want to talk to this guy here Choco Billy's dad or Choco Bill's dad and what he will do is hook you up with some stables he can give you up to six I've already purchased mine as you can see he says we do not rent out more than six stables here so once you have your six stables you're good to go you're good to put the chocobos in there and go about your your business so what I like to do since I have this much gill is I will go buy some and I I'm going to brutalize this. I've always wondered what the exact phrasing for this was, and I never actually looked it up. Um, but what is it? Gazal greens? That's, I know I'm totally brutalizing that, but let's take a look here just to make sure I'm saying that right. So let's see, we've got, 
What is this stuff called? Where are you? There. Let's arrange this by type. Gizalda greens. <laughs> so that's your most basic greens. I will go and buy the more expensive type just because as you use it, your chocobo will stay for more turns, which makes it easier to capture them. So the process of capturing a chocobo is pretty easy. You go to chocobo tracks, and I believe there are only seven or so in the world, seven or eight. And what you do is you, you use your chocobo lure materia. So actually, let me get out of here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So your chocobo lure materia, which I believe Vincent has equipped right now. Yes. And so what you do is you use this, you equip it, and you will have a chance of encountering chocobos along with other enemies at the chocobo tracks in the game. Now, the higher level this is, the better chance you have. I believe it doubles your chance of meeting chocobos. You can also equip two with, the, with them mastered, and that'll, I believe, quadruple your chances. Don't quote me on that. But I think that's as far as it can go. So you can only quadruple your initial chances of catching a chocobo. It doesn't get better than that. So that's up to you if that's something you want to try. Personally, I don't mind waiting the extra few seconds it takes to encounter a chocobo. Considering once you're high enough level, you can pretty much just run from anything anyway. So anyway, so that's the basics of capturing a chocobo. Now, you want to use greens to keep your chocobo there. So as you can see, you can buy them from Choco Billy, and the better the green, the more likely you are to keep the chocobo in battle, which is key because you don't want to uh, you don't want to risk them getting away after you've tackled most of the enemies. It's just a pain in the ass, and it it causes more of an issue, takes more time. So, anything you can do to save time when you're going for a gold chocobo, do it. So anyway. So these show you here. So this is when you actually want to breed chocobos. You can buy these nuts. I don't suggest buying any, any of these because the actual nuts that you will need to breed the special chocobos, you will actually get out in the world. And I'll show you here in a couple minutes how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to focus on these greens. And these greens, like I said, they just allow you to keep the chocobo in battle longer. They won't run away. Another very important thing, never attack the chocobo. If you attack the chocobo, it's gone. You're not getting it back. He'll panic and freak out and leave. Uh, one last thing, when you want to breed chocobos, you are going to do some racing. This is if you do it the legitimate way. Bring them to the S class. That will in greatly increase your chances of getting the right kind of chocobo that you're looking for. You don't necessarily have to do that. You can leave it up to RNG, but you're going to have a much tougher time of it. And why I say that with the racing is that these greens also raise stats on the chocobo. So you have your intelligence, your stamina, and your speed. Speed is obvious. The more you have in that stat, the faster your chocobo is going to go. Stamina, the more you have in that, the longer your chocobo can, um, can sprint for which is key at the end of the maps or at the end of the races because you want you want to be able to sprint that last distance to get ahead of the other chocobos in case someone is beating you so and then intelligence simply put that's so your chocobo isn't going left and right while you're trying to steer it um, I always suggest doing manual for the chocobo races and I'll, I'll explain more of the reason for that later um, and yeah, so basically just intelligence is making sure your chocobo listens to what you're saying, doesn't fight you, doesn't zigzag when you're trying to go straight, so on and so forth. So those are the basics. Right now, I'm going to buy a bunch of Mimic Greens. I have no, no limitation on this, really. I mean, 144,000 out of 5.5 million, not a big deal. So I'm just going to stock up on those, and we should be good to go. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is go collect these nuts. You don't really have to, you can get them before you breed if you want to, but I just like to get them out of the way. So I suggest getting three carob nuts and one zeo nut. And I will show you more what I mean by that here in a couple seconds. So let's go ahead and go for the carob nut. And to get that, you wanna fight a red dragon. His name, uh, I'm gonna brutalize this, but his name is called Vlak Corridos. V-L-A-K-O-R-A-D-O-S if you want to search it online. And that's how you get the carob nuts. You have to steal it from him. And he is found near Bone Village. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and leave Choco Bill behind here. I'm gonna call him Choco Billy. It's just, it just rolls off the tongue better, you know? So Choco Billy. All right, so let's go to Bone Village. Let me check my trusty map here just to make sure I'm going the right direction. Okay, Bone Village, where are you? Bone Village, okay. All right, Bone Village, here we come. So, Bone Village is in the northern continent on this southeastern side here. There it is. So we're looking for a big red dragon called La Corridos. Oh, I'm gonna turn my times three off. I was using that to uh, help me raise my AP. So one thing I have done in this game is not use the Limit Break PS4 cheat. I think it's cheap. Basically what it does is it easy modes the game. It automatically fills your limit bar. Um, it also restores your HP and MP every turn. So you literally have a very hard chance of dying unless an enemy uses, you know, an insta-kill move. You almost can't die, and it's so cheap. There have been a couple key times when I have used the No Enemy Encounters cheat. That was mainly to get through, like, a big area. Um, like, I believe the area after Icicle Village where you have to go through all those winding paths and there's three paths between each area of just random generated stuff. That's when I use that just because it's a pain in the ass. Um, but the one that I use most is the three times. And the way I look at it as all it is doing is speeding up the game. So instead of spending four hours fighting enemies, you're only spending an hour and a half, two hours. I don't think it's cheap because you're still using the same moves. You're still doing the same stuff. All it's doing is speeding it up. And in fact, if you're not careful, speeding it up can actually be more of a challenge. So I look at it as the fairest cheat in the game. You're saving yourself some hours. That's really all it's about. And in today's world where time is money, that's key. So what I'm looking for right now, again, is called the Karim Nut. It is found near Bone Village, which is where I'm at right now. I don't know why this is taking so long to encounter an enemy. I don't know what the deal is here. Come on, give me an enemy. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for, but we'll take this guy out real quick. Ooh, I got a bird wing. How exciting. Alright, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. See if I can encounter an enemy here. What is the deal with this forest? There's like nothing out here. What the hell? This can't be right. Are they this rare? Maybe just this area there are no encounters. Maybe that's all it is. That's odd. Okay, well I'll try it out here. As I said, this is where you find them. I'm not 100% on whether they are in the forest themselves or if they're outside the forest. This is definitely Bone Village though, right? I mean, this is, this is Bone Village. I don't know what the deal is with trying to encounter these things though. Maybe you just can't be in the woods. Maybe that's all it is.
But I mean, pretty much every area, other area in the game, in the woods, you can encounter enemies, so. I don't know. I don't know what the dealio is. Okay, this isn't, this obviously isn't working, so. And of course, as soon as I step, here we go, okay. This is what we're looking at here, so. I'm gonna use my steel. Nice. Okay, so we got one. So like I said, you're going to want three. Just so that you can use them later. You don't have to come back here. And like I mentioned before, you can do this at any stage of your breeding. But I just like to get it out of the way so that as I get on a roll with my breeding, I already have what I need. So that's why I do this first. And these guys have some pretty serious health here, so. Wonder if I can steal more than one. I'm about to find out. Nope, can't be done. All right. So much for that. Jeez, this guy has some serious health. Holy crap. I guess technically I could run away from him now. <laughs> but I don't know, I just feel wrong doing that. You know, unless you really have to, I feel wrong doing that. Okay, we can speed this up. There we go. Of course, as soon as I speed it up, he dies. Go figure. All right, so we've got one, we need two more. I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case something crazy happens. All right. Need a couple more dragons, come on. Just a couple more. Also, if you're not aware, Bone Village is a good way to get some uh, extra items on the side. Basically what you do is you do a little archaeological dig. And it's pretty cool because you can get some, uh, some decent items out of it if you know what you're looking for. I believe that's where you get one of the limit breaks. I could be wrong though. Okay, this is not what I want. Get out of here, you damn bird. I'm looking for your brethren, the dragon. You damn squirrels. These things look just like Conker. It's an old game called Conker's Bad Fur Day. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you probably think I'm Looney Tunes, but it was basically this badass squirrel that would go around and, you know, at one point he had to fight like a giant pile of poop or something like that. Like, it was an interesting game. Okay, you little Conkers, you're starting to get on my nerves. Looking for Vlacorados, or however you say that. Oh my god! Vlacorados, yeah. Stupid squirrel! I'm stuck in the ground. Here we go. Okay. Round two. Fight. 
All right, so I got my carob nut. We're just going to wreck this guy real quick. Can't touch me, sir. Yeah, these guys are no good. They don't do a lot of damage, but they take forever to kill. Okay. So we've got two carob nuts. We need one more. Come on, RNG gods. Or I guess it wouldn't really be RNG. That would just be more random chance. But come on, random chance gods. So it was like in this little area every time. I know that's just probably con, you know, random chance, but hey, it's just like bowlers. You know, they do something specific and they, you know, they get a strike, so they continue to do it. Same thing here. I know you've all done that. You're all guilty of that. You can't fool me. Especially when it comes to RPGs that are randomly generated. It has absolutely no bearing on your chances of getting something specific, but you still do it, and I know you do it, so don't judge me, that's what I'm trying to say. Wrecked. One hit KO, baby. Alright, come on, give me that dragon, just one more. One more dragon. God, the rate I'm going, I'm going to have to cut three quarters of this video. <laughs> Alright, come on. No whammies, no whammies. Dad needs a new pair of shoes. I need one more of the Corridos. Come on. Bah. Freaking squirrels. Come on, I just need one more. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So that's my third carob nut. Now, the next step is we need a Zeo nut, and there's only one place you can get those from, at least as far as I know. There may be others, but this is the easiest place that I found to get them. This little island in the Northeast Continent. Oh, that's another thing I should have noted. Um, to start your gold chocobo breeding, you will need the high wind. There's really no other way to do it, unless you already have a gold chocobo, which makes no sense. So. This is really the only way to do this. So this is the goblin forest. Basically, as soon as you encounter a goblin, you want to steal the Zeo nut. You only need one of these. Okay, so I couldn't steal from him. So I'm not going to do anything else until I steal it. Oh, uh, that's the other thing I forgot. 
There we go, ZA Knight. So I didn't actually have to steal it. I just got it after I uh, after I defeated him. So that's cool. Um, one thing I did forget to do though, you want to make sure you don't combine anything else with your steal while you're doing this. Obviously, because you don't want to ruin your chances of you know getting the item if you accidentally kill him before that. So my steal command, I actually have added cut attached to it. So what that means is that every time I use steal, I actually attack afterwards. So. As you could see in that instance, I goblins rather than stealing from them. Luckily, I was able to get the uh, nut anyway at the end of the battle. So, just something to keep in mind when you're doing this. So, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so the first thing we want to do, we're going to start catching chocobos. So, the first type that we want is a male good chocobo. Um, when it comes to the male and female part, you don't have to worry about that until after you catch the chocobo. I'll show you what I mean. But for now, you want a, level, a good level chocobo. So what that means is I'm going to go to the tracks east of Gold Saucer, and I'm going to look for a good chocobo. Now, how you can tell if it's a good chocobo um, or actually how you can tell if it's any certain kind of chocobo is look up a quick guide online and there's a bunch of tables that'll show you what kind of enemies appear around certain types of chocobos. And so you can actually tell before you go back to Chocobilly what type of chocobo it is simply by the enemies around it. So for instance, for the good chocobo, I'm gonna have two Spencers around him, which is basically um, these little flying lizard fish creatures with wings or I'm not sure I can't remember exactly what they look like but I'll show you as soon as I uh, encounter one what they are so basically when you have two one or two Spencers around the chocobo you know it's a good chocobo so without further ado let's go ahead and go to the gold saucer which I don't even need to look up I remember exactly where that place is I still have a couple achievements I need to get done there um, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> Where's the desert? There we go. Okay, so this is the gold saucer. Obviously, you don't want to go in that way because that's where the uh, prison is. So you want to go over here. Is this it? This is it. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So the area outside the gold saucer. Um, so that's how you would actually get to the gold saucer. I don't know why I did that, but so the area east. So here's the gold saucer. We're going east. So right in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm not sure why for a second there I thought I was actually going to the gold saucer, but brain fart. Sorry about that, kids. All right, so in this area, let me see if I can find a Spencer. Yes, so that's a Spencer, just so you can see what it looks like. So. We're actually gonna go to the Chocobo tracks, obviously, which are here. And we got our Choco, Chocobo Lure equipped to Vincent, just to double check. Yes. So he has the Chocobo Lure equipped. And the next thing that I like to do, because you wanna get to your, um, your Chocobo Greens during the battle quickly, because you don't want them to run away, I actually move the greens that I buy, let me see. Let me arrange this first. So I'm actually gonna move, where's my greens? Here we go, mimic greens. I'm gonna move these to the top. And the reason I'm gonna do that is so that they're the very first thing I encounter when I go to use an item. Um, and you can quickly put that back to put everything back to where it was by going to arrange and type Obviously to move where the greens were I went to arrange and customize That's just the way I like to do it if you really want to go through and dig for the item Hey all the more power to you, but I'm looking to do this as quickly and efficiently as possible So that's why I do that do it that way. So anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for these chocobo tracks And we're looking for a good chocobo which will have one or two Spencers around it. So we're on the tracks. You can tell the battle music is different. This is not a good chocobo because it does not have the Spencers around it. So I'm just gonna wipe it out. 
I'm gonna release this chocobo. I'm not even gonna bother with it. There are no good chocobos. Bye -bye. Oh my god! Give me a load. There we go. Okay, perfect. So, the two floating dudes, those are Spencer's. Obviously, that's a chocobo. So, the odds are this is a good chocobo. So, the very first thing that I'm going to do is use a Mimicreen on the chocobo. Because I want him sticking around. And I'm going to be very careful not to attack him. As I said before, if you attack him, you will regret it because he will be gone. And just like that, we caught a chocobo. Now, as I said, the odds are this is a good chocobo. So what I'm going to do is send him back to the stables. So hop off of him and select send it back to the stables. Okay. Now this comes the the RNG part or the random the random part. And I'll show you what I mean here in a second. All right, let's speed things up here. Go back to the chocobo farm. All right. go ahead and save so this is key you want to save before you go back to the farm this is a huge point if you do not do this you will be sad panda unless you get very lucky so go ahead and save okay so as I mentioned before you're looking for a male good chocobo so there's your chocobo there you want to go into where choco Billy is Oh, I guess that is his name, Chocobo, Choco Billy. That's his name, right? I guess his dad is Choco Bill. I don't know why I thought that earlier, but anyway, okay. So go to Choco Billy, and then what you want to do is you want to ask him about the Chocobo you have. All right, how do I do this, Choco Billy? Talk to me. Do I have to go talk to the chocobo? I can't remember. Okay, so as he says, it's a good chocobo. Okay, so this is where it's key that you saved before entering. So, you wanna put it in a stable. Okay, as you can see, it's a female chocobo. That is bad news bears. So what you want to do... We're just going to name them whatever, I don't even care. Because what you need to do is now exit the game. And the reason that I'm doing that is I'm looking for a male chocobo. And each time you go into the chocobo farm, after you've caught a chocobo, you have a 50-50 chance of getting one or the other. And the one that you want to start with is a male. So basically what you're doing is you're just resetting the game and going back in until you get a male good chocobo. Which we already know this is a good chocobo, so we don't have to worry about that. But now it's a matter of getting the male one. So we're going to go ahead and move it again. And it's still a female. It's a pain in the ass. Chocoa, hey, yeah, that works, whatever. Chocoa. Come on, Choco Billy, don't do this to me. Thank you! Thank you! Okay, so, we have a male good chocobo. So, what I'm gonna do, this is something I suggest you do too. I'm gonna name this one good. Good. Dash male. Okay. And we're gonna get rid of the other one. So where's the other one? 
So I'm gonna let that one go. Bye-bye. Let me just make sure this is the right one over here. God forbid I screw this up and have to do it all over again. Okay. All right, so we've got our good mail. Good stuff. All right, so now we need to get our next chocobo. So we've got our good male one. Now we need a great female. So let's go ahead and go out of here and save. Hopefully this will go a little better for the great one. I'm not feeling too confident after that last last ordeal, but we'll see what happens. All right. So to get a great chocobo, I want to go near the chocobo tracks near Medeal or Rocket Town. Doesn't really matter, um, but it does matter which enemies will appear based on where you go. So in Medeal, if you go to the tracks in Medeal, the great chocobo will appear with one or two spirals and the spirals are like the little, um, they kind of look like potato bugs, you know, the ones that curl in on themselves, but they have big tails. Um, if you use the ones near Rocket Town, you're gonna be looking for uh, two Valron or two Kyovadons. And these are like flying gargoyle looking creatures. So I'm gonna choose the ones near um, Medeal, just because it's closer at the moment. It's literally right down the bottom continent over here. So this is Medeal, and let's see where are those chocobo tracks are. I think they're over here. Here they are, okay. So as I said, you're looking for the purple potato bug looking things. They're like a mix between like, I don't know, like a rat and potato bug. You'll see what I mean as soon as I, uh, as soon as I encounter them here. Okay, so those are, those are spirals. So that's what I'm talking about. So you're gonna look for one of those, or two of those, paired with a chocobo. And that's gonna be a great chocobo. So I might just catch two while I'm out here. Depending on how hard they are to get. Is he still confused? No, okay. Sometimes I have a hard time remembering which statuses actually carry over. I know Sadness does. Okay, so there's gonna be two. This is gonna be a little harder. Um, let's see, can I use, let's use Bolt 3, no. Okay, screw that. Pretty much every other move, you're gonna wanna use the greens just to keep them there, so. Okay. All right, so now we've got two great chocobos. That's gonna increase our chances, so. We'll get rid of them. Send them back to the stables. Okay, now let's head back to the farm. And again, you wanna save before you go back into the farm. So that you definitely get a female chocobo. And you don't have to go do what I did again. So, go in here and move them until you get a female one. If you don't get a female one, again, exit the game, reload. Okay, so right off the bat, we got a female great chocobo. So I'm gonna name this, we'll name it great. Great female 
Okay. So the other one... I'll put them in the stable and then I'm just gonna let them go. Because I only need the one, so. Okay. Make sure if you're releasing them that you release the right one. I can't stress that enough. Because <laughs> you will be pissed if you get rid of the wrong one. So, this is the one I want to get rid of. Go ahead. Alright, so now I've got my male good chocobo and I've got my great female chocobo. We're going to go outside and save. All right, and I'm actually gonna save in the second slot too. I always save a backup. You don't really need to, um, but just in case you do something crazy and you accidentally delete one of your files, you have a backup. Um, okay, so we've got our good male and great female. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed them Silcus Greens. So we're gonna have to go to the Chocobo Sage's house, which is near the Icicle Inn and we're gonna buy 10 Silcus Greens. So, that's gonna cost you 50K gill. Again, it's a good thing to have a lot of money before you do this. So, we're gonna go to Icicle Inn and to the Chocobo Sage's house. So, Icicle Inn is up here. Okay, here's the inn. I need to check my map. I can't quite remember where he is located. Chocobo Sage is... Okay, he's up in this little area over here. Here he is. So you can park right next to him. Alright. I might buy more than that just because I've got a bunch of gill. <laughs> All right. Should I buy 50? I'll buy 50 for now. It's not a big dent in one, in my reserves, so. Okay, so you've bought those. Let's go back to the Chocobo farm. Go ahead and save one more time. A lot of saving. You always want to be saving when you're doing this, just so you don't have any hiccups along the way. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed each of them five of the Silcus Greens. Okay, so that was the male one. Obviously that increases all his stats. And they are getting along better. So they are more likely to mate. So, let's feed the female now. Okay, now, this is the part that is the most time consuming. To have a better chance of getting a special chocobo, you need to race them to get them to the S class. Is it a pain in the ass, you ask me? Yes, it is a ginormous pain in the ass, but it is necessary. If you're doing it the legit way, as I said before, there is a cheap way you can do this. Um, it's all based on random number generation or RNG. That's not the way I like to do it. I like to feel like I earn everything in my RPGs. That's also why I don't use the other two cheats. 
So, let's go to the gold saucer and do this. Uh, <laughs> I mean, those silk greens will help. That's pretty much, if it hasn't maxed your stats, it's increased them by a ton. All right, here we come, gold saucer. I mean, I love chocobo racing. I don't mind it. It just gets tedious. Okay, so this time, you only need to raise them to class B. Oh, I don't have any GP, that sucks. Okay. So if this is the case, what you can do, there's a guy that will sell you GP. And he pops up by that little house in the back left corner there. And since I've got a ton of gel, I'm just gonna buy, buy a few. And you can get him to show up just by doing this multiple times. I guess I don't technically have to save right at the gold saucer, but I kind of want to. Just makes it easier. If he doesn't show up though, I might just let it go. There he is, okay. Okay, I guess 100's the max, so I'm just gonna buy 100. Go ahead and save here. Again, the only cheat that I use in this game is the speed up cheat. When it comes to things like the gold chocobo, it's kinda... It's not required, but, I mean, you're gonna make your life a lot easier. So, anyway, let's go ahead and race some chocobos. Uh, it should only take you about three wins um, to get to Class B. I do the shorter route just because it's easier to win at, the, at this level. So... Okay, wait, am I in the right place? I'm not sure I'm in the right place. Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Alright, we'll start with the mail, the good mail. Short course. <laughs> Look how fast he's going. That's awesome. All right. Look at him. I'm doing it automatic because it's not really necessary for me to do manual. But you can if you so choose. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm gonna do manual just for now. Since I'm near the end of the course. I mean, you can tell I'm, I'm blowing these guys out of the water. Like, they don't even have a chance. <laughs> not at this rank. They're just done. So I'm not too worried about it. Wrecked. I guess I could just put it on automatic. I think I'll just leave it on that for these races. It's only when you get into like the A and the S ranks that you might have some trouble and you will want to do it manual. And better yet, you get some items. And I take the GP too, because um, when you go for Emerald and Ruby Weapon, you're gonna want some of the items from the battle arena. 
So, well, I guess actually the battle arena might be separate, but I take the GP anyway. I can't remember if the battle arena has a separate point system. I believe it does. It's been a long time since I played this, so I could be wrong on that, but... Okay, we'll do good. I need two more races with him. And this is where speed up comes in handy. Wrecked. Fastest chocobo race ever. Switch the manual and just blast through here. <laughs> I don't even feel bad. I really don't. Actually, I might go for the items, because I'm not getting a lot of GP from that. So, near the end, I'll, uh... I'll switch the manual. Actually, let's see if he does it right this time. Maybe he'll do the boost on his own. You gonna boost? Alright, so that's one Chocobo down. So yeah, I mean, the times three is awesome. You're gonna save yourself so much time using that. And honestly, it's the only cheat that I don't think is cheap. Okay, so he's rank B. So now we're gonna do the great female. These guys, are, these guys are gonna burn themselves out. So right here is normally when I'll do the boost, and it should carry you through most of the uh, most of the area. Then you can switch back to automatic. Okay, that's you don't want to do that. You want to be more careful than that than I just was. I think I I jumped ahead. I think I did it too early. I think it's the next segment that you want to start the boost. And you can literally, if you have full boost, you can boost all the way through the end of the race. So with a high enough intelligence, you can usually trust your automatic function. But let's see, I think it's... Okay, it's right at this change that I'll just blast all the way through the end of the race. Look at this. Boom. And you'll pretty much hit the end of the race every time just by blasting all the way through it, so... So right when you get to that colorful tunnel is where you want to use your boost. At least in these early races. Down the road, you need a little more uh, management of your boosting. Okay, one more race here. Yeah, as I mentioned before, I did this gold chocobo thing twice. Once on the PC, um, that was before the cheats. That was actually the original PC version of the game, of the PlayStation game. And then I bought my PlayStation when I was about 20, 21. And that's when I went back and did some old school games like Alone in the Dark, the first couple um, Final Fantasies that were for PlayStation, so 7 and 8, and 9. I still have 9. I've gotten rid of the other two, but... Um, but yeah, I did this the legitimate way without any speed cheats or anything like that, and it kind of sticks with you. It's like riding a bike once you've done it that many times and you've you've gone through the rigorous process, so... Anyway. Alright. So we've got two B-ranked chocobos, so now we can go back to the farm and attempt to make our magical color chocobo. Okay, and hopefully we'll get a green or a blue one. That's the goal here.
Okay, so this is gonna get a little more tricky if I remember correctly, because you need a green and a blue chocobo, but they have to be opposite sexes. Um, if that sounds like a pain in the ass, that's because it is. It truly is. Um, it's all RNG based, it's all random. There's no way to make it occur. So the best thing you want to do is save. And then, okay, we're gonna mate them. Because not only do you have to get the right color, you have to get the opposite sex. So the first one doesn't matter, as long as you get a green or a blue one, but you gotta get the opposite color and it has to be the opposite sex. So it is kind of a pain in the ass. Um, it is pretty boring. But, I mean, you're, the items that you're getting for doing this are spectacular, so it's worthwhile. And if you're playing this on PS4 or the new PC version, you have the, uh, you have the speed hack to your advantage. So it's not, or the speed cheat to your advantage. So it's not going to be as bad as it used to be in the original releases, um, but it is still a pain in the ass. So you want to use one of your carob nuts. You should have three if you got the, the ones that I mentioned earlier, and you should have one ZEO nut, which will come in hand later. But for now, you want to use the carob nut. Okay, so you're gonna choose the two that you have. Again, it should be a good and a great opposite sex, obviously. We're gonna use a carob nut. And you're not guaranteed to get a green or a blue chocobo. So that's again why you wanna save outside the farm. It's very key that you do that. Okay, so I've got a green chocobo, that's awesome. Okay, and it's a female. So, the next one that we want is a, a green or a blue male. So, I'm gonna name this one Green Female. Female. Okay, so let's just double check. That is a, it is a green female. Yes, green female. Okay, so now's the part that kind of sucks. So now that the chocobos have bred, well, first let's save. You always want to save. Can't stress that enough. I will probably say that another hundred times during the course of this video. Anyway, so you want to save. And now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to fight a few battles. Um, usually it's less than 10. I will probably just fight 10 just to get it out of the way. But basically what you want to do is, you know, recover your chocobos so that they can breed again. So, we're just going to fight 10 battles real quick. And this is going to wreck them. Done. Bye bye. Okay, so that's one. Now we're getting into the very tedious part of Chocobo breeding. <laughs> Two. 
So if you're watching this um, while I'm doing this and you do have questions about the breeding process, um, go ahead and ask. If I am able to answer the, the question, I will be happy to. Um, if not, well, there's always Google, I guess. <laughs> but as I said, I've done this multiple times, so... I'm trying to show you guys the quickest way to do this um, with the most tricks. Hopefully I don't miss anything key. So far, so good. I mean, it's nice being able to make a video because I can show you what I'm doing rather than just tell you. So not only does that kind of give you a visual aid, but it also shows you that the way that I'm doing it works. That it's not just words on a page, which could theoretically not work. It's guaranteed to work eventually because I'm showing you that it works. So anyway, long story short, this is a good way for you to learn this process. So I believe that's six or seven, so we'll do we'll do three more. <clears throat> and again, if you're if you're trying to take out the weapons, Ruby and Emerald, you're gonna want Knights of the Round. I just I can't stress that enough. It's not it's not a sure thing. You know, you can't just use it and then you're you're done. It's not a sure thing, but it's going to come in handy majorly. And you'll see why. I'll do a video on those down the road once I get to that point. But you definitely want Knights of the Round and you want Mimic. Which is, I don't, I'm not sure if you need a, a Gold Chocobo for that, but I think you might need a Black one. But Mimic is really going to come in handy for you. So, that should be enough. I'm going to go ahead and save. Actually, I'm going to get rid of this status. Because I don't want him doing anything crazy while I'm trying to get, uh, get chocobos. And a good time to do all this is right after you save Cloud. Um, so once he goes into his coma and he's in the wheelchair, you can technically do it with Sid, but you're not going to be able to race the Chocobos until you get Cloud back and have the High Wind. So basically the, the, um, the Gold Saucer is closed until you get him back. So the best time to do this, like I said, is right after you get Cloud back and you have the High Wind. So now what we need to do is... Um, we need to get a blue... Well, first of all, let's make sure that our Chocobos can breed again. So I did save. Okay, so... Oh, nope, not that one. The original two. Okay, and the great female. So as you can see, they're ready to mate again. I did about nine or 10 battles. Generally speaking, that'll get you to where you need to be. That'll go ahead and let them mature again so that they can mate. So we're looking for a blue male. Let the RNG gods be with us. If it doesn't work the first time, I would just go ahead and reload the game back to the save and just try again. You could technically go do the battles again and start over, but why would you do that when you can just reload the game, you know? So, give him a carob nut. Come on, daddy needs a new pair of shoes, no whammies. Blue mail, blue mail, blue mail. Womp womp, okay, so we did not get the blue. So we're going to go ahead and reload the game. 